I'm Joanna DeCellis, editor of CNRB's Chef to Chef magazine, and I'm here today with certified master chef Robert Mancuso, who's the executive chef of the Bohemian Club in San Francisco. Thanks for joining us today, Chef. You're I really welcome. appreciate it. Thank you. So how do you create special and distinct dining operations within your club? You know, we have um, a lot of different venues at our club and a lot of different interests uh, from the membership. Um, so, you know, I tried to be um, an individual who likes to come up with some new ideas and take things in a different direction, but you'd be very surprised how inspired I get through our membership who say, hey, we'd like to host uh, an event on um, Spain. Can we do a wine dinner on Spain? Do you know anything about Spanish cooking? <laughs> well, even if I don't, the answer is yes, right. <laughs> and I'll figure that piece out. Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, they're, they're, they control a lot of the inspiration to um, how we manage different um different types of events that we do at the club. And then I also make recommendations to our board for, you know, uh, upcoming events, you know, what could be really nice, you know, Wednesday nights on ice or something like that, or look out for the cookout, which we used to do and some of the other clubs that I, I, I worked on um, uh, building promotions for. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it comes, it's, it comes from, from a lot of different places. Very cool. What is your culinary philosophy? Um, I think that if you start with quality ingredients, um, you're going to end up with a quality product, uh, as long as you manage those ingredients correctly. And now being in California, um, we have um, such a broad reach on um, different local um, vendors and farmers, uh, ranchers and so on that are providing absolutely fantastic ingredients to us, you know, door to door. And you take those ingredients, you manage them well, you, I have a five step plan that I always preach to everyone yeah. and I break it down. It's a s simplicity. I say, okay, so we purchase the food, we receive the food, we prepare the food, we cook the food and we serve the food. And if you can, you know, nail those five steps perfectly, yeah. we're good. But starting with great quality ingredients has always been my philosophy. Okay. So how do you hope to grow as, as, a, as a master chef over the coming year? What are some of your personal goals? Well, you know, um, <clears throat> the master chef has always been a stepping stone for me. It was a goal that I wanted to achieve. And once I did, I had to realize that there are more goals that I've yet to achieve uh, that I would like to. Um, I've um, been immersed in wine uh, education mm -hmm. from WSET, which is wine um, uh, wine and Spirits Educational Trust out of um, England. And um, I'm in the, the local chapter in the Bay Area, and I've gone through um, <clears throat> three levels of WSET, and now I'm in the diploma stage, which is one level away from Master of Wine. And I would like to be the only individual on the planet who is a Master Chef and a Master of Wine. So that's my wow. big goal right now. I have some Lofty. smaller achievements <laughs> that I'd like to, <laughs> right. to, to do, but um, that's my big deal right yeah. now is, is studying wine. Once you achieve that, I, I, given your history, I'm sure that you will. Once you achieve that, how will that benefit your club? How will that improve your food and beverage operation? Well, I think there's a lot more to offer. Um, many clubs, and ours in particular, we have a fantastic wine program, and we're a California-based club too, so just, you know, just think about the possibilities there. Um, knowing more about wine, knowing more about how to, how to um, combine food and wine experiences together really elevates the experience for the membership. And really that's, you know, what it's all about for us if we're going to, you know, if I'm going to continue to be the chef in private clubs, yeah. which I intend to be, it's, yeah. it's to really constantly improve the experience for the members. And that's one way that I'd like to do it. Who do you admire most? Uh, my mom. She's great. <laughs> That's amazing. So did she, was she a cook? Did she inspire you as um, a child? A little bit. Um, yeah. She never held me back. Let's say that. Okay. Um, my, uh, my mom, um, uh, the, you know, I, I have German heritage and I have Italian heritage. Uh, and, um, you know, she, she, she never kept us from, from visiting our grandparents and sitting down to those big Italian meals yeah. and, you know, uh, going to the German side, um, which was all about like, preservation of, of ingredients mm -hmm. and fresh baked pies and um, good hearty cooking. The Italian side was a little wild. Yeah. They were like sit around the table and drink wine <laughs> and have pasta and that was all So good that's too. where the wine came from. That, that's <laughs> probably where all the wine came from too. But um, she never held me back. She she was, uh, my mom tells uh, um, uh, every time I date someone that I introduce to my mom, she tells them one thing. 
She says, you're going to get along with Rob just fine as long as you know one thing. And they say, what's that? She goes, he's going to do whatever you want. And he's going to tell you whatever he, you want to hear, but he's going to do whatever he wants. <laughs> if you know that, you're going to be okay. <laughs> so she's never held me back. So how do you inspire young culinarians? How do you bring them up in your kitchen to have, have the same kind of philosophy about food and cooking that you do? Well, you know, I, I think... Um, I think there's uh, there's a part of that that's contagious, and I think if you have it and you have the energy and you have um, the ability to <clears throat> promote yourself as someone who has integrity and is focused and uh, who cares and has that true kind of emotional connection to food and love what you do, that piece is contagious. People see that and they aspire to be that. I usually find out um, what um, some of, you know, if, if it's a young cook or an intern or something, I always ask them the question, what do you like? What, what, what do you really enjoy about this? Tell me, give me two or three things. And say they say, well, you know, I really like pastry. Um, um, I really like to know more about sauce. And I take the things that I know that they are really interested in and I cultivate that. And you would be surprised what, what the results are. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Chef. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you very much for having me.